and welcome to my studio. I'm Noemi from Pigeon Art and today I'm going to be using oil pastels. I think we can almost call these crayons. They're not the best quality ones I've ever used. I think they came in a pack of, you know, lots of different art supplies that might have been for children. <laughs> this is what I want to recreate. This is sort of my thumbnail, if you will. It was a proof of concept, basically. I love it. I think it looks great, except I'm not happy with the sky. I think it's just competing in value with the buildings. So I want to do it again. So what I want to do is I'm going to do the buildings again the same way and I'll be using watercolor for the sky. I took this photo in Houth in uh, Ireland and it's of an old abbey that's, as you can see, pretty much fallen down. But I um, just love the photo and I've been wanting to recreate it ever since. So <laughs> here we are. I will... I'm still going to stick to my clothes. Just to reduce the adhesive a little bit. <laughs> Much better and more expensive paper. So it shouldn't have issues, hopefully. As you can tell, it's going to be a lot bigger. <laughs> I love the angles and the composition in this photo or painting, so um, just try and keep those. Ah, I don't know what I've done wrong. The whole thing should be lower. Let's start again. I don't want to have to fill in all of that as a wall with the crayons. <laughs> Takes three years. <laughs> okay. I'd rather it be more sky than building. It's a shame I felt like I was getting the shape and all that really well correctly. Let's try that again, but lower. So this could be the height. Are these bigger or is this too big? I think this is too big. Like that. That's better. You know what? I didn't draw at all. There's a lot of greenery foliage in front of, right in front of the here on this pillar, and a little bit of this one, but I never drew that <laughs> in that one. Which is fine. Um, I just have to decide whether I want to include it or not. I probably won't. Mm, still don't feel like this is right. This is too far that way. This is too far that way. Like that. And then this is too far this way. Maybe about there. Like so. I still want to introduce green as well. There's a lot of colors going on here. There's yellow, there's orange, red, purple, blues, blacks. So I don't think I'll add the foliage as much as I like it in the photo. What I'm going to be doing is doing the crayons first cover it, filling that in with uh, crayons. And then when I'm ready, um, because there's, you know, sky poking through the windows, uh, I'll just do a big wash of watercolor, except where there's gonna be clouds. The photo has lots of clouds in it. Um, I'll just do a big wash of watercolor all over it. Because these are oil, they're gonna repel the water and then the, the watercolor should stick to the paper where there is no oils. I might as well swatch these out. It's not the same paper, but...
be some of the colors that I'll use. I probably won't use all of them, but just doing blocks of color. These do not layer as well as I would like them to. It was ones I've used in the past <laughs> do. But I'm just doing blocks of color and then I will layer and try and sort of blend them a little bit um, with other colors. So that's a bit of orange. I'll come back to orange. It's not going to be the only bits of orange in here, but see, I'm just layering the red so it gives it a bit of a different. Doesn't work great. <laughs> These are awful. <laughs> I've forgotten just how awful they were in the couple of weeks since I made these. Oh gosh. It's even worse on this paper, I think. It just doesn't want I can't use the mixed media paper with watercolours and apparently the watercolour paper doesn't look so good with the oils. Before I add too much uh, colour, just do the detailed bits. Careful where I put my hand, apparently. I should start, I'm going to start on this side and move this way because as you can see, it was a bad, it was a mistake what I just did. I think after this, I'm gonna throw these out, they're <laughs> awful. <laughs> um, I, well look, I'll hold on to them until the end of the year because I've told myself I'm not buying any more art supplies for the whole year. As soon as next year, right? I'm going to be getting rid of these and buying better ones. But I'll hold on to them just in case I wanna use mixed media again like this. So I'm going to keep doing that. I'll put you on, on a time lapse while I continue doing that. I'll check back in with you when I start adding a bit more detail and depth. So I've noticed that red doesn't layer over anything very well. Yellow and orange layers quite well on other things and yellow gets layered on really well as well. Um, it's just, don't ask me why. I did a little bit off camera while my phone was charging. So this is how much I've done. Um, what I'm gonna be doing next is adding those dark spots that you can see in this one, because at the moment it's looking really flat and uh, not enough contrast. So I'm gonna add those uh, shadows and then we'll uh, start with the watercolors, I think. Okay, so I'll first go in with this color, which is the crimson and just I've done it already a little bit, but I'll just define that a bit more. These do not blend very well. I've said that over and over again. Okay, that's really dark. I'll probably try and blend it out just a little bit because I don't want it to be that dark. Black apparently layers on really well. Step back and have a look. Pretty good, pretty good. Happy with that. I'm gonna get my watercolors out first. I'm gonna clean up this mess. There's some messy art supplies. Ugh. So I'm gonna need a fair bit of this and I want it to be all a fairly flat color. I'm just gonna chuck it straight into a, just make a wash with it. Pretty good. 
Now, where am I going to put these clouds? I better just draw them in with the watercolors just because the if I put it in graphite, it's going to show through the watercolors. I don't know, they don't look like clouds to me, but we'll see how we go once this is on. I think uh, my best bet's to work really fast before it dries, so it's not streaky. Okay, it's sort of working and sort of not. <laughs> It's working in that it's being repelled by the uh, oil pastels, but it's also not working in that it's moving all these little bits of oil pastel around the place. Oh well. If I ever get better ones, I will try this again with a different building. Ah, oh, see, this is dried now. Mm. I don't have my reference with me because I moved my computer, so couldn't even tell you what these clouds look like anymore. So that's why they're just random and not cloudy looking. Mm, bit streaky, bit streaky. Sign it. Posca pen seems to be doing all right. It's getting mixed with the paint though. I'll do. <laughs> I'll let that dry and I'll be back in 20 minutes or so. Um, it's not quite ready to peel up yet. Don't know how I feel about it. I actually think I prefer this one. <laughs> this is really annoying. This peely bits that have just made their way all over the place. But if it gets framed, I'm hoping that will stop it getting any dirtier. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, feel free to give it a like. I upload every Sunday with art, DIY, sewing, knitting, and other videos. I hope to see you then. Bye.